We have a question from Paul, and Paul has invented something. I've been experimenting with Litva walks. 15 to 22 hand swings, followed by some type of loaded carry, consistently being very good. This is done for three to five sets, and I have been experimenting with doing them at the beginning and end of the training session. I am 44-year-old, high school teacher, and God bless you, and coach and former American football player. My knee health does not allow me to sprint or run effectively, and due to lockdown here in Ontario, Canada, I do not have access to a prowler or sled push. Any thoughts on improving this protocol? Any suggestions are greatly appreciated. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea. Uh, I'd like to see you really, uh, the only thing I'd ask you to do is always try to have that transition as fast as you can. So uh, if you've got uh, two hand swings, of course, I don't know, uh, if this is always a, a question is, do you have both hands on one bell or do you have a, a hands on uh, in one hand on each bell? But if you could do something like we do, we have a, a workout called the Sparrow Hawk, and that's goblet squats and suitcase carries. But if you did uh, swings and suitcase carry, swing and rack walk, swing and waiter walk, uh, and so the transition is boom right away, I think you might find there's some real value. Um, it, you could do, there's six sets right there, you know, a set of 20 uh, swing, waiter walk, set of 20 swing, other hand waiter walk. Uh, swing rack swing rack swing suitcase swing suitcase Ooh, there's, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's that's not bad that's 120 swings and six carries that's 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 a lot of load this is a very good idea uh let me know how it goes thank you